Good morning. It's Monday, February 25th, 2019. I'm Kathy. And I'm Ruby. And this is J-Town Update. Here's another edition of Two Truths and One Lie, featuring Ms. Ziz. Take it away, Ms. Ziz. My name is Ann Ziz. I teach IB English, um, 12th grade and 9th grade. Um, I also teach the AP Capstone class, uh, both seminar and research here at Jordan High School. And I've been here for 19 years. My three truths, or my two truths and a lie, are um, number one, for my 16th birthday, my parents bought me my own trailer. Uh, I've broken my arm, my right arm, twice. And I've, um, I've read five to ten books a month. Thank you, Ruby and Kathy. If you love technology and media, why not consider being part of the Student Help Desk? We produce JTown updates, solve computer problems, fly drone for school media, and more. If you're interested for the second semester, come see Coach Carol in B225 or email him at the address below. Does expressing yourself make you happy? Do you want a place to publish your work? Then express your feelings, ideas, experiences, and our points of view through your art poems, drawings, short stories, photographs, paintings, or any other representation that we can record in this year's Stylist Magazine. This year's theme for Stylist is Your Art, Your Way. What this means is the subject matter is wide open for you, as long as it is full appropriate. So, become a published poet, writer, artist, or photographer and submit your poems, short stories, lyrics, and our artwork, drawing, paintings, photographs, etc. to the Stylist Magazine. Contact any stylist students to turn in your stuff or go to room 1219 to see Mr. Headley to turn in your work. Deadline to submit in February 28, 2019. Want to have fun while improving your skills to get better grades? Come to our new club for self-advocacy skills. Meetings are on the first and third Tuesdays at lunch in B217. Class of 2019, it is time to secure the bag. Everyone has the right to apply for grant monies for school, whether you have made a decision or continue your education or not. It makes sense to at least beat the deadline. You do not have to have a social security number to apply for financial aid monies. March 2nd is the deadline, so please stop by the College and Career Center to get your questions answered. Financial aid also covers trade schools, such as cosmetology, barber college, car mechanics, etc. Please don't miss out this free opportunity. LBCC is here on campus every Thursday from 11 a.m. till 3.45 p.m. and in the College Career Center. Jordan students who are interested in learning about Black history, attending college tours, cultural events, and field trips, please join in on Wednesdays during lunch in room 1301. See Mr. Williams for more details. Please note the following for the turkey policy. Green, yellow, red, and orange turkey passes will no longer be accepted. It is that time of the year where you have to be proactive. There are a million things that need to get done, and you are the only person that can do it. If you need help with this, please come by the College and Career Center in S1103. If you have been admitted to university, please come by the College and Career Center and notify us. It is exciting to receive information you have made. We would like to keep track of your admittance as well as any scholarship monies you have been offered. If you have been denied admissions, please stop by the College and Career Center immediately to make sure this was not a mistake. You only have 10 to 15 days from the time you were denied to appeal the decision. Some universities will request more information such as first semester grades, TED scores, etc. If you have applied to community colleges, there are more steps that need to be completed, such as orientation, counseling, and etc. If you're confused or need help, please stop by the College and Career Center for assistance. Financial aid and scholarships are available to fund your future. The deadline for financial aid is March 2nd. Please don't delay and stop by the College and Career Center to get it done. Your final grades will decide if you keep your admissions to the universities. You must maintain your grades at all costs. There is no such thing as senioritis. Bad grades equals admissions revoked. You can do this! And this is the scholarship for LBCC and CSEO students. Calling on seniors, another scholarship opportunity. Please congratulate the following students. Jasmine Gutierrez. Jamie Son. Alex Vargas. Ashley Flores. Katie Flores. Janine Rosales and Andrea Luna. Their work was chosen to represent Jordan High School at the 35th Annual Norman Gottlieb Center from January 28th until March 1st. Please visit the center to see the district-wide event. Now welcome back, Mrs. Okay, now it's time for me to reveal my lie. My lie is I've never broken my arm. 
And stay tuned next week for another edition of Two Truths and a Lie. Thank you, Mrs. Jordan's podcast, PantherPod, exhibits the special talents and interests of our staff and students. The 30-minute podcast is featured on YouTube and can be a great resource when applying to colleges. If you are interested in appearing in an episode of PantherPod, please contact Coach Carroll in room B225. It will be an experience you won't forget. Teachers, close sponsors, ASB students, athletes, and interested Panthers, you have a message to send? Fill out the new bulletin request by going to bit.ly slash JTU form. Again, that's bit.ly slash JTU form. This is a great way to announce club activities, special events, and projects. Hello, Panthers. I'm Ruby. And I'm Kathy. And we have a special J-Town update announcement for you. Get ready for WASC. WASC stands for Western Association of School and Colleges. Here are some key facts you need to know. Our WASC window starts March 3rd and ends on March 6th. What is WASC? Every six years, Jordan completes a self-study where we reflect on the work we are doing to serve students. We put together a 200-page report discussing things like college and career readiness, SLC pathways, how we support students who are struggling in class, programs for English learners, use of technology and collaborative conversations in the classroom. We write about Jordan's strength and areas of growth for our school. Then, a group of teachers and administrators from outside Long Beach reads the report. They visit our school to learn more and see if they agree with what we found. And now to our reporter of the field, Sarah Venegas. Thank you, Kathy and Ruby. So how will our visit look like? On Sunday, March 3rd, a team of seven people will meet with parents, teachers, and some student leaders. On March 4th and 5th, which is a Monday and a Tuesday, they will be on campus all day visiting every classroom, meeting with students, teachers, and staff members. On March 6th, they will report their findings to the school and then submit their evaluation to us. Thank you, Sarah. And now out to Manny. Thank you, Ruben Kathy. I'm Eddie, and I will be taking over for Manny. And this is what we're going to be asked as students. Be aware that you'll have visitors in your classrooms. Remain focused on your lesson and try not to get distracted. Try to be honest, polite, and positive if a committee member asks you questions about what you're doing. Help us present our best normal of what Jordan looks like on an average day. And back to the studio with Ruby and Kathy. Remember that being part of our amazing Jordan community is all about pride. Positivity, responsibility, integrity, determination, and empathy. So let's make this WASC visit count. Because that's how we make it happen at Jordan High School. Until next time, have a great week and go Panthers!